hi everybody welcome back to my channel where I will be crocheting it forward in this video by showing you the second sports buddy of my sports buddy series this is the soccer player um, the first one was a basketball player I will copy that link in the information box if you want to check that out so let's get started okay so the materials you're going to need are your yarn colors, whatever you're going to use for the hair, um, the uniform, skin color, shoes, um, things like that. And then you're also going to need some crochet thread and a needle, sewing needle, a small one and a large one. You're going to need two different size hooks, a 4.0 and a 4.5 and some scissors and this is optional I had some little beads uh, right here that I just sewn on that I did with the other one um, some of if you're this is your first time watching this um, I'm making a sports house robe for my grandson my eight-year-old grandson and it's made from a C2C pattern corner to corner and when I get done with the Buddy Sports Buddy series, I'll, I'll share how I put that all together. Okay, so we want to make his face first. And what I've done is I've divided everything that we're going to make with the 4.5 hook. Um, and then uh, we'll change to the 4.0 hook and then do the rest of the, the, rest of the stuff. We're going to make a magic circle. And you can do yours any way you want. We're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to make ten double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to close the circle and slip stitch to the top of your first double crochet. That's round one. And then for the second round, we're going to chain two. And in that same stitch, make two double crochets as well as making two double crochets in every stitch to the end of the round so that's one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen, twenty. Okay, so we're gonna slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet, and then we're gonna single crochet in the next stitch. We're gonna chain four, one, two, three, four, slip stitch back into that same stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch nine stitches very loosely because if you're going to put a border around this, you're going to need to get into those. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then in your 10th stitch we're going to single crochet and chain four and then slip stitch in that same stitch so we've just completed his ears and his face so we're going to fasten off and I just want to give you a heads up. If you want to wait to the end of your this project to do uh, sew in your ends, you can. I'm going to sew them in as I go because as I was coming up with this, <coughs> excuse me, pattern last night, my ends were all over the place, and I just decided, you know what, I'm going to sew in my ends after each piece, and then just grab some new yarn uh, to to sew these uh, pieces together. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew in my ends. And then we will move on to his arms. Okay, moving on to his arms, we are going to, and I want to show you um, that they're uh, kind of bent behind his back because, you know, soccer players can't touch the ball. I'll show you how we're going to do that. So we want to take the same color, get a slip knot. We're going to chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then we're going to double crochet in the third chain from your hook. One, two, three, Okay, two, three, one, two. All right, sorry, I was reading my pattern, confusing myself. Two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what? I am in the wrong. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. And so we double crochet in the next to the fifth. I'm so sorry. We're, I mean, it's still the same. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to make three double crochets in the sixth because we're counting that chain three as a stitch. Same stitch. So that's one. Two, and that's how we're given that um, bent elbow look and then we're just going to double crochet in each stitch to our beginning chain Yeah, those, oh my God, those tails that had me, were driving me crazy last night. So now we're done. And again, we're going to fasten off. And then we'll count to see how many you should have, including the chain three. One, two, three, four, five. In your sixth, you're going to put three double crochets. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you should have a total of 14 stitches. Rewind the video, or if you, if you memorize that, go ahead and make your second arm, and I will meet you back. All right, so we have his head completed, as well as his arms. And I'm gonna grab my color. I've also sewn in my ends for my shoes. And we're just gonna do a magic circle. And chain two and then make eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to close our circle, 
slip stitch to the top of your first double crochet. Okay, chain one and then fasten off. So make another one. Again, that's a magic circle. Chain two, make eight double crochets, slip to join, and fasten off, and we'll come back and make his sucker ball. Okay, moving forward with our soccer ball. I did want to mention that this would this would be a great project if you got lots of scrap yarn. Because you're you're not using very much yarn for all of this. Not at all. So what we want to do is get our magic circle for our soccer ball and then slip chain two and then we're just gonna make 15 double crochets. So we have our chain two And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now we're just going to slip to join. Top of that first double crochet, going to chain one. And off, and then just work in our ends. Now I've been going to the next um, stitch and pulling my tail down. You want to make sure the circle is tight, and then what I've just been moving is just taking the top uh, loop so it doesn't go all the way through and then working it toward the middle and then just tying it into a knot right here you know, I struggled a little bit with this last night too but I think I got it figured out I hope that looks like a soccer ball to you guys three knots is good I'm going to go ahead and cut those tails. And now what I already have done, for, to simplify the video, um, is threaded my smaller needle with my crochet thread and then my bigger needle with some black yarn for the actual circles on the ball. So what you do is go ahead and make a knot. What we're going to do is just make a cross. Going in from the back and out the front and all the way down. You don't want to go into these loops right here because then again we're going to need those loops free for our border. Okay, and then I'm going to go up here to the right, which is probably the left on the screen. And then I think I did that. And then I just went all the way around the outside and connected them with a straight stitch. And you can do this any way you want. If you come up with a with you know a more creative way to make a soccer ball go for it I 
And again, you know, I'm not looking for perfection. These are um, um, just fun projects. Rustic fun projects. So you have like a square box. I think I might have did the box first last night. And then we're just going to go in the back and make, make a knot. I think I'll do that one more time. That's enough here. And I'll show you really quick, quickly how I made the uh, circles. Again, make another knot. And for these, I just made French knots. And if you don't know what that is, um, it's just a matter. And you can put these randomly anywhere. But you always want to start with inserting your yarn into your socker from the back. Hang on to that piece with your fingers right here. Turn it around, and then we're just going to go over like one little loop. Okay? And then with your working yarn, and now I bent the soccer piece so, so I can better work with it, and then loosely wrap it around twice. And then pull, you gotta do this loosely too. Pull your yarn through. What you end up with like is a little raised, I don't know if you can see that. See how it looks like a little raised ball? And then you just go right back in the same area. So yeah, that's how you make your balls. Again, I'll show you one more time. I'm just going to go through these empty spaces right here. Go all the way through the first time and then when you come back through you just want to take a little bit of one loop fold your soccer ball and then take the working yarn and loop, wrap it around the top of the needle very loosely and then pinch it with you, these two fingers and then slowly work the needle through that stitch and then you have a raised ball now we're going to go right back into that same area and pull the rest of it through. Okay, so I'm just going to put these randomly. And then when we come back, we'll grab our 4.0 hook and start with his jersey. Okay, so we have um, his head completed, his arms, his shoes, which you can make any color, and then the soccer ball, which I am completely in agreement with. I know it's not perfect, but again, as I mentioned, these are rustic pieces. So I've also sewn in the ends and I'm grabbing my 4.0 hook and the jersey color that I want him to have. And I'm going to make a slip knot any way you want. We're going to chain 12. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then in the fourth chain from the hook, we're going to make a double crochet. So skip one, two, three, four. And then we're going to double crochet all the way to our first chain. And then this is um, the second row is going to be the repeat row. Okay, and you should have 
counting the chain three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten double crochet. So we are going to chain three, turn our work, and this is going to count as a double crochet. So we're going to go on our next stitch and make double crochets. So you'll have ten double crochets, and we need four rows of that, and I'll meet you back when we get done with that. Okay, so I did my four rows, and I forgot to tell you, your last double crochet is going to be at the top of that third chain. Um, but most of you probably knew that, but in case you didn't, you found that you were only getting nine double crochets. Well, remember, we chain three and turn around, so we're always going to put a, a stitch in there coming back the other way. So, like I said, I sewed in my end, so now I'm going to turn my piece upside down. We're going to do his pants. So get whatever color pants you're going to make for him. And I'm going to stick with the red. Maybe he'll have like a USA color going on or something. Make his socks white. And then that's a little frail. So I'm just going to cut that. We're going to make a slip knot. We're still working our, with our 4.0 hook. We have our piece upside down and we're going to make 10 double crochets across so one and you can start with the chain three i just always do this double crochet this way one two three four Five, six, seven, eight. Oh gosh, I skipped a stitch. Okay. My apologies. Let me just go back here. I wasn't sure if that was a stitch. But it is right there. Again, it's slight, but it's there. Yarn over. And if you want to learn how to do this, all I do is just hang on to the tail with my middle finger and my thumb, yarn over, and hang on to the, the yarn on the hook with my index finger so it doesn't move anywhere. And then pull up my loop, go through two and then pull up and then go through that last one it's just like a double crochet so again one let me do this a little quicker two three four five six seven eight there we go. Nine. And then in my last stitch, ten. Okay. Turn across. And then we're going to chain three. Turn our work. That's going to count as a double crochet. And they're going to make uh, four double crochets in each of the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. Now we're going to, let me see. Do we do one row or two rows? No, we do. So because these, uh, we're going to chain one and fasten off this color. We're going to go back and get our skin color and do one row of five double crochets. Uh, this time, be sure that you know what side you want for your front. 
So again, we're just going to attach in that first stitch. One, two, three, four. And then chains can be a little hassle sometimes. Five. Chain one, fasten off. And now we're going to finish up the leg with two rows of five double crochets each of whatever color you want your sock to be. I'm going to go with white. So get your slip knot. Get your hook ready. And then double crochet in your first stitch or chain three if you're going that route. One, two, three, four, five, we're going to chain three Turn our work and make four double crochets in each of the next four stitches. One double crochet in each of the next four stitches for a total of four. Sorry if that was confusing. So these are our socks. And that's two rows. Chain one, fasten off. And then just do the same thing for the other leg. We're going to attach to five and then just repeat the exact same thing. I'm going to do that and I'm also going to sew in all my ends and I will meet you back. All right, so we have our head right now. We have part of our jersey, our hands, which are going to go behind his back. And we have his shorts, his legs, his socks, and his shoes and his little soccer ball. So what we're, what we're going to do last is our shoulders. And I did them in a different color uh, for him and I wasn't, I wasn't really too, I really wasn't too, uh, too happy with that. So I'm going to do the same color which is blue and this is, we're going to make two of them. And all we're going to do is make a slip knot. And again, you can do this in any colors that you want. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll pull up your fifth loop a little bit. And then we're going to single crochet back to our beginning chain. One, two, three, for four single crochets. So we're going to pull this up a little bit, come in from the side, and in that same stitch make a single crochet. So this is our second row, and make four single crochets. Three, four, five, and then the reason I had you pull up that first loop is so that it would be easier to see, which is right here. Okay. Pull that loop up again, turn your work, same stitch, single crochet. Two, three, it's just a little crocheter's tip when you're working with single crochets. And then our last row, pull up that loop, make it loose. I know it looks really exaggerated, but once the stitches come together, that hole gets smaller, that space does. One, two, three, four. So we're going to chain one, fasten off. I'm going to make my second shoulder, sew in my ends, and then come back. And I did forget to mention you, you will need some stick pins at the beginning of the video. So I'm super sorry about that. So again, make another shoulder, which is a chain five and then single crochet back to the first chain, which equals four. Pull your loop up, 
turn your work and then make make uh, four rows one two three four yep meet you back okay guys so this is what he should be looking like once you get your shoulders done now all we have to do is sew them together uh, put a little headband hair if you want a couple pairs of eyes and we should be good to go so let me get my needles threaded and I will meet you back okay moving on I have threaded my um, needle with the color of my shoes and I'll do the first piece with you on camera and then you can do the rest or the second piece like a second shoe his second arm second shoulder and all we're going to do is try to fill up this bottom row right here of double crochets center it you're only going to be sewing half of the shoe on and just making a couple stitches you can use stick pins if you want I can't find mine so I'm going to wing it and I did want to was reviewing the video and I am not sure what's going on with the color of the color seems to be off to me on the video so I apologize for that but it's still clear so I'm just gonna keep it certainly not gonna re-record so yeah that's it it's what it looks like in the back we're gonna go ahead and fasten off here make a knot or I could just tie that together but it seems quicker this way so go ahead again put your second shoe right at the tip that bottom row half of it only only going to sew in half of it and I will meet you back all right so I got his shoes on we're going to move up here and make put his shoulders together and what we're just going to do is take one of the rows and lift it up a little bit and then just sew it sew it on just like that and again we're not gonna we're gonna leave this part undone unsewn No, no. We still have to sew the arms, so it's good enough for me. Just gonna turn my work. It's easy to get the guy, get him all tangled up in your yarn, and then cut my yarn. And then there you have. There's his first shoulder. So go ahead and do his other shoulder, and I will meet you back. All right, so we're ready to sew one of the arms on. <clears throat> and we're just going to attach it to maybe like one row of double crochet. And we're still using the same, the same color as our jersey. And I'll, you will have to turn one of these arms like this one. I think we did upright, and then I had to turn this one around. Um, so the elbows would match so it look so it would look like an arm, but it's not a big deal So I'm gonna secure that a little bit And then what you do is just take the tip and come down here into your first row um, Of your jersey before you get to a short and then just take the end right there and come down a couple stitches the jersey's at I don't want a big long line oh in the back of it even though nobody's gonna see it I just this I don't want that look so you see that space right there I'm just gonna take my needle and kind of close it up by going into a couple stitches and then right into his hand bottom see if you pinch it with your thumb and your index finger, or like I said, if you have stick pins, or you can even use this other smaller needle. It's 
see and then you have that little space right there so then I'll just turn around and maybe go in a couple more stitches over here to secure the end of his arm so it's not all wobbly there you go and now we have the first arm so go ahead and finish the other arm and then I'll meet you back and we'll attach his head okay before I sew his head on I'm gonna grab my 4.0 millimeter hook again and I'm gonna make a collar I was just looking at that and that just is taking these two stitches the rows I'm just gonna single crochet all the way around and then you can single crochet these two pieces together the shoulder and the jersey and then once you get here you can just single crochet right across when you get to the to the jersey chest area and it's just a couple stitches and then I did two on that side so I'm going to do two on the other side I'm going to fasten off it's kind of like Team USA colors huh I'm going to sew in my ends and then we'll be back and we can attach our head okay so we're ready to attach his head and I have the needle threaded with the skin color and we're just going to attach the very first well first you want to be sure you have your piece centered so your head's not crooked we're going we're gonna to attach these stitches these top stitches so what I want to do is go into this first single crochet so now let me go through the loop and then let's see I'll go on that one I don't like the way that looks I'm just going to go ahead and attach it secure it with my two fingers and just do this really sorry about that I didn't cut a big um, a long piece of the yarn because I knew I wasn't gonna I'll go back in that stitch actually went out of it Jeez Louise get it together all right now we have it secure and now I'm just gonna go in and out of these stitches I might have to I think I did two I did do two rows right here for his collar so I'm gonna come back and add another color I thought it would have been easier putting the collar on first but in hindsight I remember I did it last There you go. So let's come back around because we want it, we don't want it to be flimsy, we want it to really be secure. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time. I think it's because they're two different brands of yarn. One is thicker. And again, these are just my scraps. I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot right here. I'm going to loop those in later. And then you have your um, 
head sewn on. So decide what color you're going to make his headband. I think I'm going to go with red. So I'm going to go grab my crochet hook and my red yarn and I'll meet you back. Alright, so I have my 4.0 crochet hook. And I'm going to chain, let's see, headband 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's see if that's good enough. Yep, it is. So what you want to do is flip it around, flip your piece around, and then grab the tail over here, and then grab it through a couple stitches so it's not sticking out. Okay, and then position it how you want it to be grab the the other tail like I'm at the top of the ear grab it through there and then what I did is to secure it right here I went through a stitch or a loop I'm gonna tighten that did at that time but let's try it again I just did a knot right there and then I took my crochet hook or not crochet hook my needle the large one and I took the tail and I went through a couple more stitches so it wasn't like see how loose it is and that just secured it You can even like curve it up a little bit instead of having it go straight across. It's up to you. Crocheter's choice. There you go. And again, I just turn my work. I don't work those tails down. We're getting into a loop or two. There we go. And then just tie them and fasten off. And I'll meet you back and I'll um, get some yarn for his eyes, his hair. Oh, and we got to do the soccer ball. Duh. Okay, be back shortly. All right, so I have my black for my eye. You can do his eyes anyways, you, any way you want. And you can also use a bead, but be mindful if you're making this for a child. You don't want it to be a choking hazard. And I'm just going to make two French knots for his eyes, which I did in my previous video. And that's just uh, inserting your sewing needle into the headpiece from the back, coming out the front. And then we just want to grab like a loop right there. Just a loop really close to where you're at. You don't want to come back out the same stitch. And then we just loosely Wrap it around three times. I know we did this for the soccer ball. It's the, it's the exact same uh, concept, only we just wrapped it around one more time. And then we go back into that same area. Okay, now we have one eye. You're going to come back here and do the same thing. Try to make them as even as possible. And then again, I'm just going to, you can turn your piece if you have to maneuver it. Just grab that little loop right there. Three. And then pull through really slowly, but I'm going to pinch it at the, at the bottom of the needle. And there's two. Go back in the same vicinity, the same area. And there you have it. Let me see if I can tighten this other one. There. So we have his we have his eyes done. So I'm gonna cut up some little pieces and show you how I did his hair. Alright, so I have my black for my eye. You can do his eyes anyways you any way you want. And you can also use a bead, but be mindful if you're making this for a child. You don't want it to be a choking hazard. 
And I'm just going to make two French knots for his eyes, which I did in my previous video. And that's just uh, inserting your sewing needle into the headpiece from the back, coming out the front. And then we just want to grab like a loop right there. Just a loop really close to where you're at. You don't want to come back out the same stitch. And then we just loosely wrap it around three times. I know we did this for the soccer ball. It's the, it's the exact same uh, concept, only we just wrapped it around one more time. And then we go back into that same area. Okay, now we have one eye. You can come back here and do the same thing. Try to make them as even as possible. And then again, I'm just going to you can turn your piece if you have to maneuver it. Just grab that little loop right there. Three. And then pull through really slowly, but I'm going to pinch it at the bottom of the needle. And there's two. Go back in the same vicinity, the same area. And there you have it. Let me see if I can tighten this other one. There. So we have his we have his eyes done. So I'm gonna cut up some little pieces and show you how I did his hair. So for his hair I didn't use any kind of measurement tool. I just took a strand of hair, folded it evenly, and then just kept doing it and cutting it. And then you want it long enough so that you can get it through the top of his hair through the top of the stitches and then you, you can always trim it later and then I just take a smaller crochet hook this is a 3.75 or you could use the same one it's up to you and I'll just demonstrate right here it's a fringe and then just wrap it around your hook and then I just took my needle and I fringed it I separated the strands in the yarn just like that and it comes out curly oh, with a little pizzazz and you can you can separate them once or twice just what look whatever look you're going for so I'm gonna finish this hair and we'll come back and we'll attach the soccer all right, so I just finished with this hair. I let it, um, I didn't finish it all the way like I did with his from like ear to ear. I wanted to give him a different look, like a little, I don't know, smoke mohawk or high top fade. Those are coming back in. So now what I did is I got my yarn color for my soccer ball. And now we are going to attach it to our, oh, I didn't play that out on the sock color. Oh well. So what you want to do is place it where you have one double crochet right here showing. And then just go from there. That's where we're going to start. I'm going to hang on to my... and then we're just going to go all the way around the outside. Remember, we're not going to get the whole leg in there. So we want it to have a look like he's got his knee bent. Be sure not to cross over any of your soccer ball spots. And really just in and out. In and out of stitches. Trying to get it as secure as possible. Now we're back at the beginning. See, so, so it kind of looks like his leg right there is a little bent. Such character and personality, don't you think? All right, I will meet you back and I will show you how I made these uh, lines right here. 
Okay, so I sewed in my ends, and I just want to show you how I got this right here and this right here. And the same thing, same concept for his shoulder pads. And all I did was fold my work, and you'll see right here, let's see if I can get it in the camera, those are the stitches we're going to walk in and out of. And we are going to take our 4.0 millimeter hook, and then just fold your piece and then come in from the side to attach and then in and out those pieces or those stitches I'm sorry just like that it's gonna be a little tedious I'm not even going to um, mislead you Especially if you're working with different brands of yarn, which I've already mentioned. But, you know, this is a scrap project for me. And just go all the way around. In and out of those stitches. It gives the uniform like a little trim. And then our last stitch. I'm gonna do all my scissors so fasten off. Let's see, gives it a little more definition too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the collar right here the same way I just did this. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna leave. I don't know, I might do it. I might just do the ends right here. So I'll meet you back. Okay, guys, there you have it. There's our soccer buddy. Um, and what I did is I ended up just chaining 10. And sewing this on the way I did that and right here I just did four single crochets and then for the number I chained 11 and then with my fingers just it made sewed it on with one stitch at a time with the yarn so there you have it um, I appreciate everybody's patience I apologize for any confusion and please do uh, uh, subscribe if you want to be notified uh, with my next video I think I think he's either going to be a baseball player, I think baseball player or hockey. I'm not sure. Um, but thanks for watching, and together let's continue to crochet it forward. Bye now.